I don't know how you all work to present things when you meet with your clients and if you bring them in here and if you use the television and the keyboard and all that. But um, here will be something that's new and fun. We now have the ability to connect your iPad, any of you, to this television wirelessly like I just did. Takes two seconds. There are two things that you need to do. Uh, it will work for your iPad 2 or later, so a 2 or a 3. It will work for your iPhone 4S or 5. And you can connect right here to our big screen. We've installed a new pro program in all of the offices. And so since you live in this conference room, uh, you'll find this is actually pretty cool and pretty helpful to you, I would imagine. So once you get slick on all these things, you're going to have some fun new functionality. But what we're looking for is what's called an AirPlay icon on your iPad or iPhone. You get that by clicking your big button here two times quickly. Okay, and then just scroll across the bottom. So give it a swipe. Give it a swipe. No, no. What? Click twice. And the toolbar at the bottom, give it a swipe to the right. Press. To the other right. To the right. Right. Okay. Wait. Oh, there. Oh, I never saw that. Now, um, the, at the very bottom, gotcha. you should have an AirPlay icon. I don't. If you don't have it, that means you're not logged into our Jack On Wi-Fi network. Okay. So you need you need to be connected to our Wi-Fi network, the same network that we're running. So that's R E Wi-Fi three. RE Wi-Fi 3. How do we do that? We go REWIFI 3. So you want to go into your settings. Give that a tap. Can you? Once you're there, you'll see whatever Wi-Fi you're connected to. You might have not connected. Yeah, no, you don't want to do that. So, so we're going to tap on the Wi-Fi. It's going to bring up your networks. Select RE Wi-Fi 3. And then log in like you're logging into any of our stations. And you're a full-fledged user. That's going to allow you to use this, uh, this new application. It's also going to allow you to print in the very near future. We're working on that one. Just click accept. accept. Yes. That's okay. They should think it over. Get that little um, NRT not verified. Click accept. Okay. Yeah. Go go ahead and give it a try. So do the double click. Select AirPlay. I'm sorry. The Cam Hirsch. Blah blah blah. So when you double click, you'll get this little toolbar. Click on the AirPlay button, select Cam Hirsch, it's basically um, Camp Hill Hershey Conference Room TV. Select that and turn mirroring on. Got it. And once you, and there you go, you'll all start joining in. And the, the thing we've discovered is that we can have multiple people logged into this. And hey, we're all getting logged in, and it actually allows, yeah, everybody that's got this turned on is logged in. So now, anything you do on your iPad or your iPhone will display up here. So, um, way to go. Now, this will work exactly the same way for your iPhone, 4S or newer. So let's, um, how about logging off? Simply double click, go back to AirPlay, and just select iPad. And then I'll be able to show you some stuff, and we'll get going with our day. So when you're finished here, you want to make sure that you release this television when you leave. Otherwise, your iPad may act funny when you leave the building or your phone. 
what did you say? Just select the iPad icon. I'm with you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. If so, who's ever in the settings is in the wrong place. Okay. Just close. Click one time. That'll close that out.